Hello friends, and welcome back to another beauty tutorial. So Halloween is fast approaching, and by fast I mean like tomorrow, fast, very fast. I was trying to think of who I would like to embody for just one day, and I decided Tilda Swinton. I think Tilda Swinton is the person that I'd like to be for a day. I would just like to be like ethereally weird. I wanna be like a weird, glam, alien person. Beep boop boop beep. So to block out my eyebrows, I used my alcohol palette, Skin Effects, and that is literally just putting alcohol on a thing and running it through your brows until you get some level of coverage. I have super black eyebrows, so it, it took a while and it took a lot of layers, but I'm kind of there now. You can see them a little bit, but it's not horrible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I, the, <gasps> So I'm gonna go in with my Vizart palette and I'm gonna grab this fucking Christ almighty. My palette won't open, there we go, yay. <laughs> Crisis invaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this kind of burgundy red, oh, no, no, yes. I'm gonna grab this burgundy red color and I'm going to put that all the fuck over my eyeball. Oh, and I'm doing eyes first, then skin, because I assume that I'm going to make a giant mess turning myself into an alien. I'm not using any primer, because I feel like aliens don't need to use primer, but if you do, if you wanna follow me on this adventure of becoming a famous Hollywood alien, then go ahead. And I'm putting some under too. So basically, you just, you just wanna look like you have pink eye a little bit right now. Listen, if you don't like butts enough to have pink eye every now and again, do I want to know you? I'm not sure. But I'm not worrying about structure right now. I'm just kind of making sure that it's blending upward. But we are going to clean it up after we're done. So, my tiny dumplings, do not worry. Mama's got you. Fucking terrifying. Yes. I come from another dimension. Oh no, that's Bjork, sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm getting my aliens all mixed up, you guys. All right, so since we've got that darker color down, now I'm gonna go into Lime Crime's Muse and I'm just going to touch up kind of around the outside. So that kind of brownish burgundy color is our transition, essentially. Remember, we're still gonna do our skin after this, so if you've made a little bit of a mess, it's not that big of a deal. We're basically just trying to give some depth here right now. Now, I'm gonna go into my Lorac palette. I'm gonna get deep purple, and I'm gonna put it on my fucking face, okay? Do you mind? So on a scale of one to 10, when I have no eyebrows, like how much do I look like I am a ghost child? Because I feel like with no eyebrows and no makeup on where you can see like all the veins under my skin, I could be a ghost child. I could be like the scariest part of a scary movie. And ghost children are always the scariest because children are kind of creepy in general. I think this is gonna be like my everyday look. When my daughter's teachers ask like why she was late for the third time this week, I'll just say because time is an illusion and we're all going to die. And they'll be like, cool, don't come here anymore cause you're frightening the children, including your own. Feeling swinty. So if the world is gonna end like everyone thinks it is because look around, I feel like Tilda Swinton is just gonna get picked up by the mothership and carried safely away to some sort of like third moon of a big, beautiful, weird planet full of like flowers that eat people. Don't you wish your girlfriend was weird like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a witch like me? All right, I'm gonna go in with shell from the Venus palette. And I'm just gonna take a teeny tiny bit of that and just put a little light in the darkness. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm saying I'm just gonna like make it a little bit lighter right there so that I've got some dimension. That's what I'm saying. Repelling men since 1982. <sighs> yeah, no. If you're not putting on makeup to horrify and confuse the men folk, then I don't know what you're doing with your life because it's real fun. All right, now I'm gonna get my perversion liner and I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline. I'm not gonna get like right, I'm always like this. <laughs> Desperately scared of the pencil that I'm wielding. And don't get into the inner V because, just because. Or don't take, don't take orders from me, do what you do, who am I? I'm just pretending to be Tilda Swinton. I'm not actually Tilda Swinton. You don't have to follow my instructions. Look, I can tell you which caftans are the best deal, but I can't give you the spell to make your ex-lover think of his worst childhood moment every time he has sex with his new girlfriend. I can't, I can't do that. All right, I think now we're close enough to be able to start with the skin. So I'm gonna go in with Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I'm gonna apply this pretty liberally. Avoiding my eyebrows, of course, because they are perfection. And they need no assistance. If you're using this video to try to, you just have to make sure they, they enjoy being scared a little bit. Oh, and I'm using Fenty's Soft Matte, by the way. I mean, do you really want a man who scares easy? You don't. So you want, with this look, your skin, because you want people to really be able to look into their past transgressions when they see your face. That's the idea. Or you just want people to leave you alone on the bus. You know, whatever. And I'm gonna go into my Graftobian palette and use this as a little concealer. So, quick story time. My fingers are blue because I dyed my daughter's hair blue and she did, not, she did not get not one stain on her tiny little body. She was touching it, she was like messing with it, she wiped it on her stomach, nothing. And I've got blue hands. All right, so I'm gonna clean up under my eyes a little bit. Dear men, gird your scrotums. I'm gonna use this milk milk. It is lit, literally. From here, I'm gonna lightly dust some powder around my snoot and under my eyes. I'm gonna go super light because we want to look glossy and alien-like. We just came out of some sort of slime bath. That's the idea. And now I'm going to go into my Smashbox. Mother's gonna look strange. Mother wants to look like a thumb. And I'm just gonna not so lightly put some dimension in my face. And again, you don't have to worry too much about blending because we're gonna do that in a second. Just give me a second. On a scale of one to fucked upwardly, how weird do you think it is if I refer to myself as mother from now on? If you want an example, let's say something to the effect of, you know, mother really likes her contour. I mean, is it like just creepy enough or is it like overboard, strangely sexual and not appealing? That's what I'm, that's what I'm wanting to know with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and put on mascara. And of course it's gonna be L'Oreal Voluminous because why not? I'm just bringing you wearable looks, man. I know you could do this out of christening. There are just so many, so many different places that you could wear this makeup. You know, I joke around, but I seriously fucking love this look right now. <laughs> like this is totally the type of thing that I would like just wear on a Wednesday because you know, you need to dress up and feel good about yourself. And I don't feel good about myself unless I'm making some dude seriously uncomfortable about his boner. And I got a little mascara on, so I'm gonna like, just let that set. And the trick is, is if you let it dry completely, you can remove it. So don't touch. 
down. And then while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go in with my hourglass and anything that I powdered, I'm going to put a little bit of the hourglass over it. And I think I'm gonna use uh, incandescent. And I'm just gonna grab a brush, just a little buffing brush and buff it in. Buff. And especially get it under those eyes because if it's too shiny under there, I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'm, <sighs> carry baggage in my soul and under my eyes. So, if it's too shiny, then my eye bags stand out. I can't have that. We cannot have that. All right, I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just use whatever's left over on my lips. Have y'all been watching Stranger Things? I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life when it's done. I'm just gonna sit in a corner and weep. All right, so I got a couple of options here and I'm just gonna fuck around until I see which one works. But I've got Max Pencil, Lip Pencil and Strip Down. And I think I'm gonna just make sure that my lips don't look completely gone. And my lips, as always, are super dry. Okay, and then from there, I'm just gonna kind of blend that in a little bit. Oh my God, this is like repulsive, guys. I'm sorry, my chapped butthole lips. And then I'm gonna put some Melts Nude to blend it in a little bit more. And then I'm gonna try this Smashbox Gloss and Pout. We're gonna see, I actually haven't used this before. I got it and I thought it was so cool and then I forgot about it. Mmm, looking like a weird person. But I feel like if you're gonna go for this look, you need to like, you need to really go for it and have like the long flowing gowns or like the big caftans with like lots of scarves on and feathers and all sorts of shit. And I just don't, I don't have that much energy. I don't. That's a lot of energy for dressing up. I don't have it. You know what kind of energy I have for dressing up? I put on pants, that's it, end of list. I put on pants and I put on sweatshirts because sweatshirts never let you down. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed up a little bit. Hold on, I'll come right back and then I'll do the review. Wah! Surprise, it's a thumb with a mouth and eyes. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate all of you who have been commenting and sharing my videos. I super love it. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. And you can also find new videos here every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or requests, please put them in the comment box below. I'm always happy to have requests because that means I don't have to use my brain to think of new things to do for the camera. You can find me elsewhere at OjoLeeXOX and please feel free to add me on Facebook, Insta, all of, all of the things, everything, everywhere, add me. And that's all for today. Mwah.